this is a guide to installing Pebble 2.0 on Mac OS. As you can see, I've got Mac OS X El Capitan 10.11.6, and this version should work on older versions or this version, but um, sometimes if there's a newer version, um, it will require a uh, recompile to handle the new libraries, so beta 3 won't um, maybe handle newer updates. And you might have to <coughs> wait for beta 4 to come out. Um, so to download, you go to pebble.sourceforge.net, um, or you can go to sourceforge.net slash projects slash pebble, and it will bring you to this project page. And if you're on a Mac OS system, uh, it should come up and tell you the latest version to download that's relevant to you. And that will be here, Pebble 2 Mac OS Beta 3.dmg. And you can click um, download here. I've already downloaded this. It'll send you to this page and there's certain advertising here, so it takes a few seconds for it to really start. Um, and then if it doesn't work, you can try one of these direct links. Um, it'll take a few seconds to start. I've already downloaded it myself. So let's just see what it'll look like when it gets started. It seems to have paused, so maybe if that's the case, you'd want to try direct link, and then this little thing will pop up. 41 megabytes. I'll cancel it because I've already downloaded it. Um, and so I'm just going to open it from here, and <coughs> you have to be able to install uh, application on your account. I can certainly do that on mine, but not everyone can always do that. If you open this DMG, it will come up with this little page, and all you need to do to install is drag it from here to here. That drags it into your applications folder, and it'll see it copies it, um, and down here in my applications folder, you could see it starting um, to uh, download, and now it's complete. Um, you can have Pebble 2, I'm going to close this now, it, uh, installed and running at the same time as Pebble, the f Pebble 1 or Pebble 0 0.14, which this is. Um, they will s make a separate copy. They will make um, separate copies of all the scripts and things like that. So they, you don't have to get rid of one to be running the other. And you can see there's a little two on the icon to indicate that it's a new version. So uh, the first time you run this, it will um, give you this little warning. Pebble can't be open because it's from an identified developer because it wants you only to use things in uh, the Mac App Store. And so it looks like it doesn't work. If you right click and I think just hit open, then it will um, run it. It'll ask you, are you sure you want to open it? And you can say open. And so then it'll um, take a little bit to get going usually. And, so, uh, and eventually open the launch screen. In this case, something didn't work. So let's try that again. And um, now the first time it, it launches for real, uh, it'll bring this screen. And this is just um, a screen that allows you to uh, make a copy of all the things that Pedal wants to put on your specific account. So if you have um, multiple users on a computer, this will launch for every user the very first time and only the first time. And so if I say yes, it's copying things in the background. You might not see uh, everything and depending on if, if your account is on a network or something, it could take a lot longer. But it copied everything we needed and what it did was created in documents this folder, pebble hyphen exp.2.0. So we can open this 
and it puts a copy of the manual in there and a number of tutorials um, and there's some other folders here and the, probably the most important one is the battery this includes about a hundred different tests and if you run tests from the battery the data will appear in this folder so if we run this again uh, we get the launcher now this is just a little information screen at the beginning and you don't need the password in order to run pebble but and if you read this carefully it will tell you that um, if you enter a password it will bypass the screen but if you want to use without a password um, you can click this but um, if you contribute to the pebble crowdfunding um, site uh, which you can access via a, a menu option or you do other things like provide translations or new tests or contribute to the community another way I'm happy to give the password out as well to help you um, run your systems more readily but if you don't want to run if you don't want to want the password you're under no obligation it's free software so I'm gonna say use without the password and if you don't give me the password you just have to go through that little ritual every time um, and so here is the launcher and this is the main launcher whereby you can browse different tests you get a little preview um, you can look under the menu to open up a copy of the manual and here the manual is opened in a PDF um, you can visit a link to the website to, to the donation website you can find out how to cite pebble and, um, and that's it so that's how you install on pebble uh, pebble 2.0 on Mac OS